Word. Hi, everyone. It is September 20th. Welcome to the Chaos Community Weekly Call. I'm Elizabeth. I'm the Chaos Community Manager. For those who don't know me, I think everybody here knows me, but just in case, that's who I am. That's why I'm here. So um, agenda's in the chat. If you do need it again, just give us a shout and somebody will drop it in there for you. Let me share. Hope everybody's doing all right today. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I mentioned this earlier. I, I kind of liked the no meeting week we had last week. I got so much done, <laughs> it was kind of nice. So <laughs> I might be an advocate for that uh, occasionally in the future. Um, anyway, sorry, I digress. If you would like to put your name in the list here um, as a, an attendee, that would be great. And I also pulled this question from our list of icebreaker questions. I thought it was awesome. What fashion trend would you like to see in the future? Put that in there if there's something. I really miss these banana clips. Um, I think they're coming back. Like, I think you can still buy these. These things were amazing. I loved them because it made your hair look like this lady right here. Yeah. That's that's what that's the look I was going for, and my hair is really thin, and it would not do that. So yeah, that's the look. That's what I want. Anyway, so drop in your fashion suggestions for the rest of us. Uh, okay, so we have a really long agenda today, as you can see. Woohoo! Oh man. Okay, uh, so let's hop to it. The first thing on the list is our um, draft for the charter of a marketing communications working group, a comms working group, um, which we have been talking about for a few weeks. So we have a doc started here, and um, I think Georg is on here, but uh, Georg, I would am, you like to talk about I, this? Yeah. I'm here. I just got home from an appointment. I will be on my computer in a couple minutes and then I can engage better. Okay, should we come back? Let's just come back to this then. We'll hop, hop forward and come back. Is that cool? Yes, thank you. Okay, no worries. All right, so the next thing is thank you to everyone who played a part in Chaos Con, whether it be helping organize or attending or just helping us spread the word through Twitter, like whatever your part was, we really appreciate it. A fun little picture for those of you who were there in person. Um, and for those of us who attended virtually, I think it went pretty well. The, so thank you to the AV team of volunteers for having that. Um, that really felt like um, I, we were engaged and the Slack was engaging. And yeah, it felt like more of a sense of community. So um, I really appreciate that, that extra effort there. Uh, we do have some slides up and the pre-recorded talks. So if you go to this page here, which is our event page, and you come down here to schedule, you can see links to the slides. If it was a pre-recorded talk, um, we have links to the those recordings out on YouTube. What we are looking for, what would be amazing is if we had some volunteer help and that would entail taking the so we have like a three hour recording of the whole chaos con in one recording so what we'd love to do is break that up into individual talks and be able to put those individually out on youtube uh, with maybe some chaos branding we are all pretty busy this time around and so if anybody has any video editing experience and wants to take this on we would love 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 that and you would really help spread the message of chaos and let people see those talks that were not able to attend the conference um, and we are estimating it'll take about one to two hours so if you're if that speaks to you and that's something you could handle and want to try reach out to me or georg either one and we will we will point you in the right direction of how to how to get that done. And then also we do have a quick feedback form here if you did attend or if you didn't attend and you have some feedback for us anyway that would be fantastic. Uh, there's just a little um, form to fill out um, if you do have some specific feedback that you want to give to us, we would really appreciate that for next time. So we can always iterate, always make chaos con better, always make it more welcoming, inclusive, and more awesome. So please give us that feedback. All right, any questions, comments, anything about chaos con before we move on?
All right. I guess we'll move on. Sophia says it was awesome to see everyone. Yes, I did not go. I had a little FOMO, not going to lie, fear of missing out. But that's okay. After hearing Ildiko's stories about traveling, um, I'm good. <laughs> so I'm seeing you all now. <laughs> okay. At ChaosCon, we announced in the opening remarks, in case you missed it, in case you missed also um, the announcement on Slack and in the mailing list, we have a community survey open. Hooray. The point of this survey is to get a feel for what people are experiencing in the chaos community. Um, we're trying to always center diversity, equity, and inclusion here at chaos. And so this survey is extremely important. We would absolutely love for you to take it and give us your, your feedback, your experiences, share with us um, how you're feeling about being in chaos and how we can be better. So there's the link. Um, feel free to take that um, at your convenience. You may not want to take it right now because you're here, but um, please bookmark that and take it later. We would really appreciate it. I should also mention that you can take it until uh, October 12th is when we're closing that. And we will continue to remind you. Um, so if you've taken it already, sorry. Um, if you haven't, then um, yeah, we'll keep reminding you too. Um, and if somebody could drop the minutes in the chat, that would be great. Um, so yeah, sorry, as an aside, does anybody have questions or comments on that survey? I should also mention it's completely anonymous, um, and it will be the, the, uh, results will be released in aggregate only. Um, there's one person that sees that data and that's me and nobody else sees that data and we don't have any personally personal identifying information involved at all we don't we don't take or keep any of that so um it was completely anonymous so we highly encourage you to be honest with us and then our dei audit team we will all take a look at that and they'll make help us make some recommendations on how we can improve so that's kind of what our plan is overall with with the survey so yeah, let me know if you have questions about that or um, concerns, comments, however, just let me know. Um, okay, uh, Georg, are you back? Do you wanna jump back up to number one? Yeah, sure, let's do that. Hi, good to see you all. The, we, we had discussed about bringing together the efforts we have around communicating and marketing the chaos what what we're doing in chaos and maybe even formalizing the efforts a little bit through a working group because we have we have things going on in europe and america and africa and asia all over and there's a lot that is happening in chaos but then also around chaos that is relevant and that is worth sharing. And so right now uh, we have several venues for that. We have Twitter, we have the newsletter, we have the blog, we have the mailing list, we have Slack. And so anyway, chaos has grown quite a bit. So what this is trying to do is bring this into a more organized way of sharing what's going on. And so this charter is our starting point for how we want to organize this effort. It's based on, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, I put the attribution in there. It's based on the Kubernetes upstream marketing contributor communications team charter. So shout out to everyone who worked on that. And thank you, Don, for pointing us to it and yeah that's that's what this is there's already a lot of conversation going on in the document and now that i've introduced what we're doing here i open it up for conversation for you to look at it review it
Georg, is there a place where people can be involved in these conversations aside from this doc or is this the central place or where are those conversations happening around this? Right here, right now, and in the doc. <laughs> awesome, fair enough. So yeah, the conversation is, we've been having this here on the weekly call. So if you've been attending, you didn't miss anything. We have the document where we're now more narrowly focused on trying to get this off the ground. Um, there have been some side channel conversations, but I'm, I'm trying to funnel all of this here and into the doc. So that's that's where people can get involved. All right, any questions or or comments from anybody on this call right now? Do you all want to take time in the meeting to look through this doc and read it and, and do some editing? Or do we want to, how, what do we want to do with this? I'll leave that up to you all. I'm just curious from sort of a, a practical standpoint, I think in general, this looks great. Um, I see it outlines a number of roles and responsibilities are those roles that you're looking to fill or looking for volunteers in, or is this something that you already have people in place is just providing more structure around what you're already doing? I think the former. So at least so far, it's not that we have been doing this and now we're just writing it down. We are, we are creating this new thing and I think there are several throughout the community who have done things over here and over there, but it hasn't been as dedicated and as part of a formal working group or like I am the overall lead or I am the social media lead. And I, I think that's where we are, what we are going for. And my hope also is that we can have not just one person for, for each of those roles, but also have a, a second or a trainee or whatever we want to call it, a backup, so that as we have turnover, we we, we don't have gaps in, in this. So that's one hope that I have. So yes, definitely looking for volunteers. Georg, what would you recommend the next steps be? Like, how do we move this forward? Well, one thing that we'll need to do is go through all the edits that have been proposed. I haven't looked through them all. This is really great to see all the engagement feedback that this document already generated. Um, so I, I think I'll spend some time consolidating all that feedback, revising it, and then I, th I think we can come back next week and continue the conversation. And if someone feels compelled to be involved, feel free to reach out or let us know here or um, comment in the document or yeah, we, we are looking for for volunteers to help get this uh, communications working group off the ground. Not next year, next week. <laughs> I, I hope to be a little bit faster than that. <laughs> what is time? I don't know. <laughs> Good is the, uh, is the intention to have this group meet uh, bi-weekly? My ideal scenario is that we don't need meetings at all, but yeah, probably we'll need to set up some cadence bi-weekly or monthly or something. I don't know yet. Something we need to discuss.
Thank you so much, Georg, for taking this and kind of running with it. It's awesome. And it's it's definitely overdue. I think it will make everything a lot more coordinated and bring us all on the same page, and keep us all together. So I love it. I love it so much. Any other questions, comments, anything before we move on? Okay, here's the minutes for anybody else who needs them. All right, let's go ahead and go on. Um, we're down here now. So I just wanted to say congratulations to our GSOC mentees. Yay. Phew, that was a busy summer. You all did it. So congratulations to Mabel, Enoch, Priya, Yash, and Ramya. Fantastic work are making such a huge difference in the chaos community and we really appreciate you and we appreciate you being around and hopefully you continue to stay involved and stay engaged with the chaos community because we will be sad if you leave so please stay because we really love you and we want you to be around um, also want to just say congrats to the mentors who also worked really hard um, to help the mentees find their way and make progress and answer questions and um, act as coaches and cheerleaders and guide guidance counselors and all kinds of things. So great job to everyone involved. Uh, and GSOC mentees, you don't know this yet maybe, but you're gonna be, we'll be reaching out to you to um, do a an episode on Chaos Cast. If you would like to do that, we try to highlight all of our GSOC folks, all of our, um, any kind of actually ment mentorship program folks. Um, so we will be reaching out to you. I am super behind on chaos cast things. So my apologies, but it might be a little bit, but you will get reached out to. <laughs> so thank you for your patience and heart. All right, any questions or anything to add with the GSOC topic? All right, I'm going to go ahead and push forward. See, we're doing fantastic on our agenda here. Look at us just plowing through. I love this. Okay, um, next topic is the metrics freeze. So usually we do this September 1st, and we were super busy this year and tons of things going on. How, what kind of schedule do we want to go on from here out? Uh, so my understanding was that we weren't going to do a uh, we weren't going to do a metrics release this time around. Uh, instead, we were going to uh, spend some time reviewing our past metrics. Uh, so if if uh, so, based on that understanding, I would say that the uh, uh, the next freeze would actually occur uh, next year. So and at at this point, we would. Uh, uh, we could start working on metrics to release again. I think we still need to continue reviewing old metrics, but, uh, uh, and I forget the, uh, is it April? April would be the new release, the next release date. So the math, I know we had a few new metrics, so we will just hang on to those until next time. Is that I think so we'd put them into we can we can put them into the continuous release process right so we'd still they can still land on the metrics but it just wouldn't go through the review period until uh the beginning of next year uh, so we can start that we can start the review we can start the release process on them it's just the uh, the review would happen in i think the the new metrics freeze would be at march and then the for an april release Do we have comments from anybody? Questions or are we all okay with this? What? How are we feeling? What do we want to do? Is that cool? If we have metrics that have been defined, um, 
I, I would think that it makes sense to include it in this review rather than have them sit on the bench longer. Could you clarify? Could you clarify that a little bit further? What do you mean by the the so the the review I mentioned is the is where we're we're actually we're going back and we're looking at all of our previously released metrics, and we're just kind of updating them. Uh, so we don't actually have a we don't really have a review uh, a metrics release review scheduled uh, this time around. Uh, so the next one that we would have scheduled would be in in March. Uh, however, we do have the we have the continuous release process in place, which does allow us to send these metrics to the website and start collecting comments on them. So what I'm understanding is we are focusing our efforts in reviewing mess um, metrics um, and updating them as we go and if someone says hey i want to define a new metric then we use the continuous release process added to the website and all of this will be combined in april for the next release uh, the the new metrics would yes the uh reviewing the old metrics is and more of an informal process uh, so the, the working groups are kind of handling that and uh, specifically Kind of Matt and Sean and Elizabeth and myself have been kind of looking at them as well. Uh, those metrics aren't going into into a formal review process unless there are kind of uh, considerable changes to the metric. And so for those, those would also like like are we going to re-release them in April or what are we doing with those that are substantially changing? The ones that would substantially change, we would want to send back through the review process, uh, and so that would happen in in March. So we'd we'd create an issue for them and basically do that that formal release process where we we create an issue and we capture comments on them, and then we make an uh, an official edit and and release version note on it. Uh, the ones that are just kind of informally being uh, edited, and those are just. We're just going through and making sure that the links work and that the language is kind of consistent across uh, the community and that the templates are all the same. For those, we don't really need to we don't need to do go through that release process again. Uh, and if the pull request is made uh, on those metrics, that just automatically gets uh, uh, changed on the website. So for the for the release we for the release notes, we might make a note that that we, we went through that process, but I don't think the, the individual metrics, I don't believe there's a plan to re-release any of those informally changed metrics. That felt like a word jumble. Did I confuse anyone? And this is also something that chaos has not done before. Um, we've never taken time out um, to review the old metrics. So um, if anybody has questions or concerns, comments, whatever, feel free to speak up. Because we're kind of just navigating these waters together. So. And I would add alternately, uh, so we could, we could create a new uh, review and release period right now. So normally, normally that would have uh, uh, actually normally that would be happening currently, right? So September, September would be the freeze month, and then October would be the release date, right? So we could alternatively, we could create a kind of push it back this year and do the freeze in October and a release in November. Uh, but I don't I don't see much reason to do that. I think be, because we do have the continuous release process in place, I think it it makes sense to just do the continuous release and do our formal review uh, for the next release. 
Uh, Kevin, remind me, did we define if we are following the semantic versioning for our releases? Can you re can you repeat the question? I, I didn't. I didn't. Quite I mean, uh, remind me. Um, I just forget if we define the versioning model that we are using. Are we? Did we define if we are using the semantic versioning for our releases? Oh, so so currently, when we do a when we do a, a release, we create a PDF, uh, and that that PDF release does have a version number, right? So in the the version number is based on the release date. Oh, okay. Uh, so that is that's how the release is defined currently. So we have uh, generally we would have two versions released each year. Okay. So we are not following uh, expressively following the. Uh, in that way, we have the major and minor uh, releases. Okay, yeah, that's a different model. So, following following the last release, when we dis when we decided that we wanted to do uh, a metrics review of of all of our re previously released metrics, uh, the decision was made, and it, it was probably in it was probably in April or uh, around April of this year uh, that we would actually kind of freeze production of new metrics for this release cycle that we're in currently uh, so that the working groups could actually focus on going back and and looking at the old metrics uh, so i know uh i know in some cases we did work on a few new metrics or uh, uh, uh but generally speaking most of the working groups have not been defining new metrics for this release cycle Does anyone have any thoughts around if we, because our cadence traditionally has been we release twice a year. Does anyone have any thoughts around us breaking that cadence or concerns about that? Is that fine? Does anybody care? Like, is it cool? How do we feel? Okay, it seems like no one has strong feelings about that. So that's good, um, I guess. Um, the other question I had was for the metrics models that required some new metrics to be created so that we could use the model. Um, that was, I think, the motivation for really for developing some new metrics. That was um, kind of the driver. Is that okay that they're not going to be formally formally released until April? Is there any question or concern that it's just um, going through this continuous release cycle until then? There's no concern on my end. I would just I would just say for those for those metrics that uh, that needed to be created, they can just they can move forward with the release process now, right? So put in the put in the pull requests and create the uh, the issues, and uh, and those metrics can then. Uh, uh, make it to the website and uh and then we just uh we just wait until april to do the uh the formal review okay fair enough uh i'm gonna go ahead and move forward on the agenda if anybody has thoughts on this and wants to continue this conversation we can certainly do that on slack just maybe in the general channel or something just drop your your thoughts in there so thank you everyone thank you kevin too I'm oh, glad and, you're here and just a just a note by the way i don't i don't have strong feelings about it either way i'm just kind of talking through how we've how we've outlined and some of the decisions that have been made in the past so if there is a uh, an alternate avenue that people would like to take uh you would you would not get pushback from me so <laughs> All right, fair enough. Thanks for making that clear. Okay, so let's move on. Um, the next one is a while back, you may have recalled some of you 
we had been talking about moving from our mailing list, which is super, super low traffic, to a discourse forum, which might be a little better to engage the community on a longer term level. Um, Slack certainly has its limitations as far as uh, message history and making things searchable and easy to find. So um, we had decided we wanted to try discourse uh, just to see how it went. And then we had some initial discussions. Uh, we started a planning doc. There's a Slack channel. And then life got in the way <laughs> and other things took priority and took precedence over that. So it kind of just stopped. And now Shibul has wonderfully stepped up to try and help move this forward. So those conversations are starting to happen again. If this is something that you have experience with or thoughts about, opinions on, um, we do have a Slack channel, which is right here. And you'll see if you join that channel, there's a document which we're working from to try to plan all this out and drop all our feelings and thoughts in. So um, highly recommend you join that Slack channel to join that team. Shibul, do you have anything to add that I didn't mention? Feel free. Yes, Kevin mentions in the chat, Justin had been the previous lead on that, um, and we have um, started those conversations again in Slack, so, um, but I will make sure Justin knows, maybe I'll reach out to him directly just to make sure that he knows that. Uh, can you hear me a little bit? Yeah, now we can hear you. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm good to connect again. Hello, everyone, and I'm excited to be here. So I've been part of the community for a while. And so reached out to Elizabeth to, you know, wanting to be much more involved to, you know, take on certain projects that probably, you know, because of the schedule of our chaos is we have so much going on. So um, she uh, suggested that's about two. So I picked that, which seems quite interesting. So I would be excited to work on to work with everyone who is actually interested in contributing to, you know, moving that forward, the project forward or the conversations forward. And um, Kelvin, thank you. I'll be glad to reach out to Justin to, you know, for some guidance and, you know, moving conversations forward on that. I do remember one of the conversations we were having around the discourse channel is kind of balancing how many channels we have so uh, to kind of reduce the noise. Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been looking at the, um, since Elizabeth shared um, the documents, I've been looking at it also. And um, several ideas have been popping up on the documents being documented. So on, you know, trying to keep the um, categories or the channels quite minimal. So there's just, as I said, there's lesser noise and there's a lot more going on than just having a lot of channels all around. And I believe the, the plan is to eventually integrate that discourse uh, application into the website as well, I believe. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that can work. Yeah, that actually brings up right. a, great, um, a great point, Kevin, is that we were wondering if we should lump those conversations into the web content meetings or if there's too much going on in those meetings and we should do it separately what would your what would you suggest uh so so because of uh because of google summer of code and google summer of docs we've been using those we've been using those web content meetings for discussions kind of high level design discussions uh so i think uh from from that standpoint, uh, using using those meetings for uh, discourse would be uh, would be quite appropriate. So they're not uh, those those meetings. They they used to be kind of working meetings, um, and they're they're not really that anymore. So uh, so yes, yeah, I, I think that'd be a great place, uh, and nice to not have to create uh, a whole a whole new meeting. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Um, Shibul, I'm not sure if you're able to attend those meetings or not, if that if conflicts with your schedule. Um, but we can certainly work that out. 
And Kevin, remind me, when are those? Uh, those meetings? are th They're on Thursdays, Thursdays at, uh, at 9 a.m. Central U.S. time. Okay, so hopefully, Shibble, you can make those. Um, if not, we can sort it out and we can continue that discussion into um, the in the Slack, the form planning Slack. Yeah, um, so. I, I think that works. That works for me as well. That works for my end. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, we have eight minutes. Let's go ahead and move on. Um, the next one is just an FYI from me and Ruth. Um, that we have a lot of new folks coming to chaos. We've continued to have a lot of new folks come to chaos. And actually, I think this was a suggestion that Shabul had from one of the office hours, open office hours that we have is to have more of a an onboarding meeting. So once a month, Ruth and I are going to host this um, the first Wednesday at 11 a.m. U.S. Central. And we are going to, um, it will be specifically for newcomers. It'll be a little different than our open office hours because there will be more of a presentation format. So we will give you an overview of chaos, what it's all about, how you can get started, maybe how you could even get started using the metrics and then have some time for Q&A. So it'll be an hour long and that's kind of how the agenda will go, we think. <laughs> that's our goal anyway, we'll see how it goes. Um, but I just wanted to give everybody a heads up. So if um, you wanna mark your calendars, that will happen on the first Wednesday of every month. So if there's questions about that, feel free to shout them out now. Okay, awesome. Moving along, I see we have some website slider images. Thank you, Belima and Django. Hooray, hooray, hooray. So these are some images. Uh, who dropped this in there? Do they wanna to speak to this a little bit? Uh, I, I put those in there. So uh, these are the these are the background images for the slider, and then obviously there would be there are navigation buttons that would go on top of this. Uh, but uh, and and then each each slider kind of corresponds with a pathway that we are creating for contributors, uh, and each one would connect to a knowledge base as well. Uh, so. Uh, and Kevin, when you say slider, can you uh, describe that a little bit, just in case somebody doesn't understand what that is? Uh, yeah, basically, it's it's three three stacked images that would be at the uh, the top of the home page. Basically, it's the it's it's the second the I suppose it would be the second header on the website home page. Uh, so those stacked images, you can you can rotate through them, uh, and then each each of these images will can will include navigation that will take will take us to a uh, uh, a page that's that's built specifically for uh, new contributors uh, metrics users and then also uh, kind of uh, general chaos members right so in, information for general chaos members I think they're beautiful. That's my feedback, <laughs> my personal feedback. But I don't know if others if others have more something more specific to add besides that they're awesome. I guess my only question as someone who's not familiar with how to check this is if the color scheme has been reviewed by accessibility guidelines to make sure that we can see the colors. Uh, the answer to that is yes, yes, it was so we uh, when these images were created. Uh, the the base image was created by by Django uh, who's on the uh, the design team. Uh, and when we we previewed all of these images using some uh, uh, using a tool that allowed us to see the uh, the different uh, uh, 
sorry, I'm losing my, I uh, uh, can't think of the word. So uh, colorblind tests. So we, yeah. various types of uh, colorblind tests. So, so the answer is Great. yes, we tested that. That's very cool. Thanks for sharing. Any other questions or feedback? That was a great question, Sophia. Anything else to ask or comment on? And look at us. We are so productive. We blew through this agenda. We have three minutes left. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Was there something that we went through quickly that maybe somebody wants to go back and revisit? Because we got three whole minutes. That's a lot, especially in like football. You can get a lot done in three minutes. No, nothing. Silence. All right. Well, okay. We'll just wrap it up. We got two minutes. You get two whole minutes to go do whatever you want to do with your day. So you're welcome. Um, you all are amazing. Thank you so much for coming. So happy to see everybody here. Great work to everyone on this call. Really happy that you showed up for the meeting today. And yeah, I'll see you all later. Have a great rest of your day.